And it has had plenty of old molds that have stood the test of time. So what's different about the orc? Today we're going to throw the orc. We're going to talk about its history a little bit. We're going to talk about why it's not thrown anymore, if it should be thrown anymore. And we're going to talk about one simple thing that Innova could do to make people throw it again. Let's get into it. In January of 2004, disc golf was changed forever whenever Innova released the Orc. This was the first ever stable, high-speed distance driver. It has that negative one turn three fade that we're so used to now, but was absolutely revolutionary then. The Valkyrie and Beast had been released a few years earlier, but those discs still can't handle the torque and the power that something like an Orc could. This is a 380-foot headwind water carry. I wouldn't want to do that with a Valkyrie. Ooh, headwind putts are on today. And on that note of the Beast and the Valkyrie, the release of the Orc actually led to a retooling of the Beast because they were too similar in flight. So if you can find a really, really old champion Beast or whatever, and you think, wow, this is more stable than the Beast that I'm used to or whatnot, that's why. <laughs> I'm throwing this G-Star guy into a headwind again because the star one that i have is just way too beat up but anyway when the orc was released you immediately had guys like scott stokely and avery jenkins these power players praising the orc as instant distance because it finally had the speed and stability to handle whatever you put on it and for two wonderful years everything was going well in mordor until well actually like mordor a more powerful wraith got involved the Wraith was released in 2005, and the Orc, which was completely game-changing, revolutionary disc, quickly began to fade out of people's bags and out of the spotlight of the disc golf world. This holds about 290, pushes straight, finishes left. Get in there. And I don't blame our disc golf ancestors for switching to the Wraith from the Orc. That's an amazing disc, as was the destroyer that came shortly after that. But you and I both know that not everyone can throw a Wraith or Destroyer, so why not throw a more manageable version instead? Well, this is where Innova really went wrong. I'm gonna end up backing an Orc. This number right here is why people don't throw the Orc. This Fugazi number is keeping people from throwing what used to be the king of distance drivers because people look at flight numbers and they say, oh, that must not glide as much, must not go as far. I don't want to throw this disc instead of this other one that I'm looking at that has five or six glide. And I'm not even saying the Orc has five or six glide, whatever that even means. I'm just saying if this disc said it, you'd probably be a lot more willing to give it a shot. You being the proverbial you, the disc golf world at large, and I don't blame you, for making that decision because when you have so many discs to choose from why not choose one that looks like it's going to go farther on paper just as an experiment though My Wraith and my Destroyer finished farther left and they're both like 30, 45-ish feet farther. Is that because they're faster? Is that because they have more glide? I think it's more the latter than the former, personally. That's going up over those trees. You probably can't see it, but I think we have like circle's edge downhill putt. And actually upon walking up to those discs, the Wraith was about 30 feet farther than the orc and the destroyer was about 20 feet farther than the wraith which again i think points to more of the speed being the difference between the distances there rather than the glide because i don't think the destroyer has six glide compared to a wraith's five glide so what i think innova should do is take the orc rebrand it i don't care if you just change the flight numbers retcon it like you did the pig call it the urukai goblin who cares call this a 10-5 negative one three orc sails through the roof this is 400 feet that way but i've got to take a hyzer out and around is that gonna fade i don't think it's gonna fade enough i didn't quite put it on enough hyzer i guarantee you that if innova took this exact same mold renamed it 
released it as a 10-5 negative on three and had people throw them side by side, people would be like, oh yeah, I really, I see the difference in the glide between this one and this one. And people would view it as some sort of like pocket destroyer, like a destroyer for slower arm speeds, which I think that it already is. Now, I don't care if you throw an orc. I just think that it's weird that the disc golf world has forgotten it. <sighs> don't be short. Oh, stop being short. Before his name was synonymous with what is now the most popular tour series disc of all time, Nate Sexton championed orcs. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. But if you've ever seen someone throw an orc, it's probably in their bag for forehands for some sort of like slight hyzer flip pushing shot that still kind of fades, much like what people rely on for things like sex and firebirds today. I did not give that enough respect. Ooh, the tree respected it though. All right, I've got a C1 look that I don't deserve, but what do good players have to do when given lucky breaks? Take advantage of them. I thought that sucker was gonna fall out. And especially now that I'm forehanding it, I want to revisit the whole four glide thing because if it does have a true four glide or whatnot, that's still even not a bad thing because it helps you range in your shots. Little bit of stand up and drift and it's gonna come back in at the end, which makes it a great woodsy forehand disc. I actually threw it way too long. Five glide. That was a joke. The point of this video is not that the orc should have five glide, though I do think Innova could say that it has five glide if they went up sales numbers. Always short. I'm just saying it's a forgotten gem of a disc and I don't know, I think it'd be cool if people threw it more. If you haven't already, let me know what you think a forgotten gem of the community is, whether it's an old disc like the orc or a new disc that for whatever reason, people just didn't hop on on release or whatever. I'm gonna get one funnel hole in with this orc and then I'm going back to Wraiths and Destroyers. <laughs> I kind of hope that hits the tree. That might be go too far. Oh, thank you. If I throw in this eagle, you owe me a nickel. Drop, drop, 